this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to a great, fairly new add-on called iStream. Now, here's why I think it's great. Number one, iStream has autoplay with failover. If you don't know what that is, I'll explain what it is here in a second. Number two, it gives you direct access to one channel, Ice Films, IMDB, and more. Number three, it has live TV, and that includes live local TV. And number four, iStream has IMDB integration. Now, it has many more features, but these are the ones that I think separate it from all the others. And they're also the ones that I'll be covering in this video. So, with that in mind, let's get started. Autoplay is the feature that gives you one-click access to movies and television shows. Now, normally after selecting a movie, you have to pick from a list of sources and in some cases do it a couple times before your program actually starts. With Autoplay enabled, the process of selecting from sources is automated. You simply click on your selection, wait for it to sort through the list, then your movie starts. One Channel is another add-on that has autoplay, but One Channel's autoplay doesn't have failover. It goes through the selection process and attempts to play the best choice it finds. If for any reason the video won't play, One Channel simply stops trying. Now, iStream on the other hand does have failover, which means it will try until either it finds a source that plays or until it runs out of sources. So to begin, let's enable autoplay. To do that, go into iStream, click on Settings, then Movies, and under the General tab, click Autoplay to turn it on. When you're done, click OK to save the changes. Now to see what that looks like, right-click your mouse two times and that should put you back on the first page of iStream. Now click on Movies. We can use any of these, but let's go with the first one, which is IMDb. From here, I'm going to choose most popular and then whatever you like for a movie. Again, I'll choose the first one, which is Maleficent. When you click on it, you'll notice that for whatever reason, the first source is not going to play. And this is where the failover comes into play. Now, after this first source fails, it's going to wait for five seconds and then attempt to play the next source, which in this case does work. Now, if that second source had failed, it would have tried the next one and then the next one until it either found one that played or until it ran out of sources. Now, keep in mind, we only enabled autoplay for movies. To enable it for TV, you repeat the same steps that we did before, only this time, instead of going into settings and then movies, you go into settings and then TV and enable it from there. And that's a look at autoplay with failover. While all the add-ons have mostly the same movies and TV programs, each is unique enough that we don't have just one add-on to serve everyone's needs. iStream simplifies getting to some of those other add-ons by giving you access to a few of the more important ones directly from within itself. For example, if you click on iStream, then TV shows, you'll be presented with a list that includes Ice Films, Prime Wire, which is one channel, and Project Free TV, to name a few. And if you continue to follow any of these links, you'll get to the same set of shows that you'd get if you had clicked on the actual add-on. So in addition to saving time, another benefit of accessing one of these add-ons from within iStream is that you can utilize iStream's autoplay with failover even if it's not available in the actual add-on. One question that I get asked a lot is, can I watch local stations on XBMC? Well, finally, I can tell people yes. To do so, you have to go into iStream, then click Live TV, click Channels, click CBS, and then click that first entry. And when you do, that first entry is going to be a live local CBS affiliate. Now, if I had done the same thing for ABC, I would have gotten the same result. That first entry would be my live local station for ABC. Now, certainly that's not all of the local stations that we have, but it's more than I could offer before iStream came along. IMDB 
is an online repository of information about movies, TV programs, actors, etc. And if you become a member of IMDb, in addition to getting tons of information on movies and TV stuff, you also get the ability to create watch lists, which is really just a list of stuff you want to see. Oh, and by the way, membership is free. Now, because this video is about iStream, I'm going to assume that you've already become a member of IMDb and that maybe you've created a watch list. And I'm going to focus on the steps necessary to get that list into iStream. Here's an example of a watch list that I created specifically for this video. One thing to keep in mind is that your watch list must be public in IMDb before it can be used in iStream. To enable your watch list, click on iStream, then Settings, then Movies, and finally IMDb. And where it says User Number, insert your IMDb user number. After you've done that, enable Show Future Episodes, and then click OK to save the changes. Now, if you right-click your mouse two times, that'll take you back to the first page of iStream. From there, click on iWatch, followed by IMDb, and finally click on Watch List. And there you'll find the list that you created in IMDb. Now, the beautiful thing about this is that you didn't have to search for any of the items on your list. They were just there waiting for you. And then any changes that you make in IMDb in the future will automatically be reflected here. So that'll do it for my review of iStream. Let me know in the comments what you think of the add-on and or what you think of the review. If it's been helpful at all, please hit the like button. And if you're so inclined, please subscribe. I hope this has been helpful and thank you for watching.